Hello everybody, Steve here again. Today we're going to be doing another quick video uh, with the Tiny SA Radio Spectrum Analyzer. If you recall my last video with the Tiny SA, I showed you, I did a little demonstration of the practicality and the usefulness of using a length of speaker wire for your shortwave radio listening. I had quite a lot of hits on that video, I was surprised, so that's why today I'm going to be doing another video, but this time demonstrating a different antenna. We're going to be using the MLA30 uh, magnetic loop antenna. You can buy these off of Amazon or other websites. I paid about $85 Canadian for it. Uh, for my American viewers, you guys can get it for less than that. Uh, it's a great antenna. I highly recommend it for anybody that likes to listen to shortwave radio. Uh, it makes a dramatic difference in your reception. And that's what I'm going to show you today on the screen here. So right now, I have the telescopic antenna hooked up to the tiny SA. Um, simulating right now, if you were using your radio, just using the built-in telescopic antenna, and then I'm gonna show you in a minute here after we hook up the MLA-30, what a difference that can do to your radio listening. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so we have the MLA-30 hooked up to the Tiny SA. As you can see, once again, dramatic improvement in your reception, uh, what it's showing you. Uh, to answer the user's question on my other video, can you use the Tiny SA? to kind of narrow down your search when he's scrolling through all the frequencies to listen in on something. The answer to that is yes, you can. Uh, the strongest signal that it's showing right now, it's reading 9345, it's in kilohertz. Um, it's, I haven't calibrated my tiny SA in a little bit, so it's off by a little bit. So the actual frequency that it's reading, because I did dial in 9345 and there was nothing there. Uh, it's actually 9330. So I'll just turn this up. Will result. The Earth's fresh water supplies will also be affected. So that is what is coming in. It's 9330. Um, I believe that signal is coming out of Monticello, Maine. Uh, I wrote it down earlier in my DX log here. So yeah, um, uh, the MLA-30, it uses these SMA coax cables. So whichever radio you're going to use, make sure that you have the option to use an external antenna. Uh, like here, um, you're going to need most likely an adapter. Uh, you can get these off of Amazon again. They're real cheap. This came in a pack, all different uh, adapters it was less than ten dollars I think I paid eight dollars for it so yeah so that's it now we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you the MLA 30 all right so this is the MLA 30 I have it mounted to an ABS pipe a uh, very cheap way of mounting it a simple solution the antenna is portable so if I go somewhere I can take the antenna with me uh, it's quite large. I'm about five foot eight, and I have this pipe about six feet. Um, you can mount this any way you like. You can mount it to a two by four. If you have a proper antenna mast, you can mount it to that. You just have to run the cable properly. Uh, myself here, I just got it, the cable running in through my screen door. Once again, this is only temporary. In the future, hopefully I plan on getting a proper antenna mast. I'm gonna mount this up there along with my CB antennas. Uh, you could mount this whichever way you want to a two by four. If you live in an apartment building, you could mount it similar to what I have here, or you can put it on a piece of wood or a piece of pipe and then just stick it in a flower pot. Uh, you can move it around. So it is an outdoor antenna, but I've used it in the house. Uh, it's safe to use in the house. It's just you won't get as good reception as you will outdoors. Um, so yeah, there it is there. There's the specs. If you want to look it up on Amazon, it'll give you all the details and specifications there. 
Uh, once again, very easy to install. Uh, one thing I want to point out, the MLA-30 is for receiving only. You can't use it to transmit. It is not for transceiving. You will damage it if you use it for that purpose. Uh, the MLA-30 is also a powered antenna. It's got a little preamp that's USB powered. I never did show that, but it's plugged into the wall right beside my radio. Uh, the cable that it comes with is quite long. I'm not exactly sure its exact length. It's at least 25 feet. And yeah, so that's it. Thanks for viewing. Uh, please like and subscribe.